Today we are hauling an oversized load for a new customer, but something goes wrong requiring us to use this giant crane in order to save the day. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a very big problem. That is our heavy haul truck has broken down for the second time on an oversized load. Now, Alex here was assigned to go pick up the load and drop it off at the quarry. But as you guys can see, there is no load because he did not get to the docks yet to pick up the load. Now it is currently 1257 and we got to deliver this thing by 2 p.m. And um, everybody's kind of getting a little bit upset. The people at the docks are upset because they need the space and they need to get the boat moving. And the people at the quarry are upset as well because every um, moment that that truck is not delivered, they are losing money. So there's a lot of pressure on us to get this sorted out as soon as possible. Now we do have a pilot car with us as well. I actually sent them down to the docks and I asked Nick to um, pretty much go down there and try to stall them as long as possible while we head to the shop and figure out a solution to our problem. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that turn. So I'm gonna play it safe and head this way. Looks like we made it, but we're not out yet because I do have to pull a U-turn. And this thing takes a lot of space to turn around. Come on, come on, come on. So the first objective of today is to find a truck that is capable of doing this oversized load. We do not have enough time to fix this thing right now. Whatever is wrong with it, it's going to have to just kind of stay like that until later. And I'm going to see if I can squeeze through there. Man, that was really close, but we made it. Now, luckily for me, we do have a little shop over here. I don't really use this one that often, but it's kind of like a storage lot for some of our other trucks. We also used to use it as a construction shop as well, but that ended up moving to another location. So what we're gonna do is park this truck up here for now. Now we need to pick out a truck that is gonna be capable of hauling this load. Unfortunately, this one is not gonna be it, but I think this one right here is gonna be perfect, guys. We got the Ford F450. Do you guys think this is gonna be able to handle it? Yeah, I think this is going to be able to handle it, guys. And you know what? Let's pull our new trailer with this as well, just for the heck of it, because I feel like it would be really cool. And I want to show you guys this thing. And I'm actually kidding, guys. We're not going to be towing the trailer with this. But I do want to bring this F450 just so that we can have an extra escort vehicle as we are going down the road, since this thing is going to be pretty big. So now that we have the escort vehicle on the trailer, we have to find a truck that can haul it. But I do want to take a quick look at this trailer. This thing is so cool. We just got this thing and it's actually rated to hold more weight than our other low boy. It has a whole another axle, which increases its capacity. It is a little bit shorter though, but it's still long enough to haul what we have to pick up today, which is going to be that big uh, dump truck bed. So. Let's go ahead and get a truck going. Now we do have our reliable Kenworth. This thing has never let us down, but I'm kind of liking our new Peterbilt, guys. This new day cab we got is amazing, and I want to drive it again. I enjoyed driving it the other day, so yeah, let's see if this can handle the task. So we're gonna get this attached to the trailer. And let's back it on up. Looks like we got it. A little rough, but we got it. And now, let's see if we can get out of here. Wait, does this trailer have lights on it too? That looks so cool. That would come in handy at night. I need to test those out. So we're gonna head to the location. As you guys can see, the truck is already gone. John came down, picked it up, and towed it to our other shop so that he can figure out what's wrong with it and hopefully get it back on the road. What are you doing? People just can't drive at all. Why would you go that way? I don't know. What time is it now? It is now 1.07. We are running out of time, guys. So I'm going to kind of just do what I have to do here so that we can get to the pickup location a little bit faster. We finally made it down to the docks. It is 1.09. 
And there's our first look at what we're going to be hauling, guys. It's going to be a giant dump bed, a caterpillar. And we got to take that all the way to the quarry. Now, here's Nick Chuck. He's already here somewhere. Oh, there he goes. He's on his phone. So let's line up right here with this crane. And we also have to get the Ford unloaded so that we can get the bed loaded onto the trailer. I went ahead and unloaded the Ford F450. And I forgot to tell you guys why I loaded it in the first place. Obviously, he could have just drove behind us. But gas is expensive right now. So I'm trying to save all the money that I can. But anyway, there goes the Caterpillar dump bed that we have to haul. Now, it's a 773G, which means it's very heavy. So because of that, we have to do one more thing thing to our trailer to make sure it can support all of the weight and that is putting down this axle now that we have that down and in position we can stand back and wait for them to use that crane to put it onto the trailer it took the crew about 20 minutes to lower the bed onto the trailer but it looks like they got it spot on in the middle we do have a little bit of an overhang obviously of about three probably four feet on each side so we are going to be very wide which is going to make this a challenging load once we are on the highway so i'm gonna let my guys chain this thing down uh, we're gonna also put down some additional flags on the side just to make sure traffic doesn't hit us while they're trying to pass or anything like that but yeah everything is looking great so let me grab my truck and get it ready truck is ready so we're gonna back it up and connect to the trailer we are now ready to go. Nick is going to be leading. We got uh, Alex in the back and hopefully this goes smoothly. It's now about 1.42 and we have about 18 minutes until this thing is supposed to be delivered. So let's see if we can get this thing delivered on time somehow. Now we went ahead and added the oversized load signs to the F450s and the flags. They have their lights on, so they'll just be kind of helping us navigate and get to the location safely. This load looks pretty cool, though. I'll take a better look at it once we get onto a nice straightaway there. But yeah, the truck, the trailer, the load, this looks awesome. Now, as you guys can see, we are overhanging a little bit, too, so we do have to be careful. Make sure we don't accidentally hit anybody like this truck right here. I'm going to scoot over to the right a little bit just to make sure we maintain clearance is that truck in front of us is he looking at us in his rearview mirror or something why is he driving so slow oh wait wait wait, wait. is that a train i thought i heard a train coming i don't think it's a train we're good oh wait now we're good <laughs> wait i i knew i heard something i hear it where is the train coming from? Oh, there it goes. There it is. I knew I wasn't crazy. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> but I was I was like, I feel like I'm hearing something. But maybe I wasn't. I don't even know. Anyway, we are making our way across the bridge. I have plenty of space. This is really a two lane, but we're just going to kind of ride down the middle. That way we have enough space on each side. Hey, Nick is really moving. I kind of have to slow down so I can keep up with you. Am I going to be able to get around this truck? Looks like we have plenty of space. This thing just looks amazing. Very nice truck. So far, everything is going well. Traffic is not getting in the way. Now, once we get on the highway, it may change, so I'm going to keep my car up. Here we got a right-hand turn coming up. Got some parked cars and a car on the oncoming lane we got to watch out for. Perfect. That's how you do it. Oh, we got to squeeze through this. Can we fit? Oh, my goodness, guys. That was really close. I should have slowed down right there. Now we're going to hop on to the freeway, start heading north up to the county. Now surprisingly, this thing kind of fits in the lane. Like, it, it's over a little bit, but it, yeah, it kind of fits. I was worried it's going to be much larger than that, but yeah, it's not so bad. 
We've got a clear shot on. Oh, why did you stop right there, bro? I didn't even see you. You almost got hit. So far, we are making great time. The lane seems to be a little more narrow here, so now we have to be a little bit more careful with not hitting anything. So I'm just gonna kind of stay towards the right side of the, the right side of the lane. Oh, we got a car pulling out. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, really? Are you just gonna slam on the brakes? Come on! Don't do that. Wait, a cop's pulling out too. Is he about to get pulled over? Car is trying to pass. I'm gonna hit the right side. Uh, how did our escort get all the way back there? He's so far back. I think that cop is. I'm a cop. What the heck was that for? Oh. Okay, so they're trying to stop this box truck, but yeah, I gotta get around it. I need to deliver this thing on time. Oh, he needs some help though. He can't stop that thing. Oh, push them out the way like nothing. Should we try to help, guys? I don't want to mess up my new trailer, though. All right, let's try to help out. Let's help out the boys in blue. Okay, there we go. They stop. Oh, whoa, they shooting. Yo, get out of there. Oh, they got him, they got him. Yo, that is crazy. Oh wait, we're supposed to be going down here. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No good. Job well done to Ace Tolan. We were able to help out the gaps. Watching the bed come around. We got plenty of space. Yeah, we lost our lead car. Nick just kept on driving. I have no idea where he's at. Caught up with our lead car. Looks like those guys are having some trouble over there. We may dispatch a tow truck to go help them out. Uh oh. I could not do anything there. I had to just go around. But the thing is, the, the amber lights that we use on our trucks, they're just for caution, but people just stop. You know, they treat it as full on reds or blues. So it looks like we made it to the quarry. And I believe they're going to have to order a crane if the crane didn't arrive yet to pick this thing up and set it into place. Again, traffic is just kind of not being smart. Come on, people. Swing this really wide and hopefully fit through the gate. Looks like we got it. And we are here, guys, but the job is not done because we need to find the dump truck. And I believe it's going to be all the way at the back of the quarry, so let's try to make our way over there. I'll try to get this dump truck over here some space, but I think I have to go the way that he's coming from. We have been cleared by the site supervisor to proceed, and he told me he needs me to back this thing up once we go down here, and then we got to back up basically where that truck is coming from over there. So, trying to back this up. And it's gonna be crazy because with my mirrors, you can't even see around it. How are we gonna pull this off? I don't even know. But yeah, we gotta get all the way up there. Oh, there it is. There's the other cat that we were placing. I see it. Right, it looks like it's kind of a straight shot, so maybe we can do this. Let's see what we can pull off here. Okay, we're gonna line it, the trailer straight up, and just start backing up. Oh, look at this, guys. I could actually kind of see in this view, such as a day cap. Yo, shout out to day cap trucks. So much easier to back up. Now I can only see one side because I can't look all the way, but... Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I probably would have hit the guardrail, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's not bad. Let's pull forward and line it up a little bit better and go for a second try. Uh, I don't see the crane here, so if they don't have the crane here, I'm going to have to charge them for waiting because it's 2 o'clock. Oh, it's 2 o'clock. We got here at 2 o'clock on the dot. Perfect. 
but I don't see how they're going to unload this thing. They was rushing me to get here, and it doesn't even look like they have a crane to lift this thing up, so let's see what ends up happening. Damn, look at the size difference between the bed and the whole truck itself. This thing is massive. Alright, let's get out and take a look at this thing, but I'm noticing something that may be a problem, guys. This is a 797, and they gave us a 773. Now, I don't know if they're interchangeable or not. Maybe they are, but this bucket looks like it may be too big for that truck, or too small. I don't know. Maybe it'll fit. Let me know. Do you guys think the one that we brought is going to fit on this, or is the one that we brought too small? I don't know. Wow. Oh, there's two more down here. Those things are massive machines. It's amazing how they work. They can carry all of this dirt out and do whatever they got to do with it. But I don't know. I guess I'll wait around for the crane and figure out what exactly they are going to do. I just got off the phone with the management for the quarry and we have a really big problem. They're supposed to have a crane here and it is not here yet. So they're saying that apparently it's at another construction site down the road and it broke down and they're having trouble getting it here. Apparently the hydraulics and everything works so it'll still be able to lift the load but it just cannot move on its own like it can't drive down the road. So I offered to go pick it up for them and bring it here but the catch is i'm gonna charge them for bringing it here and i'm gonna charge them about 500 dollars for every hour that this trailer sits here because they were supposed to have it ready to go and now my trailer has to wait and if my trailer has to wait that means we're not making money so i was expected to be done and on to the next job but now i'm gonna be held up on this so let's leave the trailer here for now and we're gonna head over to our county tow location and pick up something to tow the crane i'm not sure if we're gonna be to tow it with a heavy wrecker i gotta look it up and see exactly how big it is i think this thing is massive so I'm gonna have to come up with an idea on how I can tow it. But anyway, let's head back to the shop and figure something out. And we are here. Now, like I was saying, we have some heavy wreckers here. We got the Kenworth and we have the, what's that, the International Twin Stair, but I don't know if that's gonna be able to handle the load. The problem is, it's not that it's heavy. I mean, it is heavy. But the real problem is it's like super long. Like it, it's, it's too, I don't know how to explain it guys, but basically the back of the wrecker is not gonna have enough reach. Like it can't extend out enough to get to the crane because the thing is so darn big. So because of that, I think our best bet is to put it on a trailer. Now, I think this is gonna be a little too much for the day cab. I think we should go all out and bring the heavy um, haul truck, which is going to be this Kenworth right here, and I'm thinking we'll bring a low boy trailer. Now, because of the extra weight, I'm thinking we'll bring the Jeep and the Stinger as well. So I'm going to get all three of these trailers connected to each other, and then we will head out to the construction site. So first thing, let's get this truck fired up. Now, the trailers are in three separate parts. So normally, we just use this middle piece right here, but occasionally, we do need the other parts whenever we're towing something that is very heavy. So what we're gonna do is take the middle portion and connect it to the rear portion. So let's back this up and I gotta try to line it up. I think that will do. The trailer is now connected. So now we have to release this part and then connect to the front part, which is over there. So we're gonna back up and grab this one and bring this forward and attach it to that and then we will be ready to go we now have all three pieces connected and we are ready to head out to the construction site and pick up that crane i haven't used all of these together in a while so this is going to be fun and i'm not even going to make that turn i'm just going to go around as much as I'm upset that I did not finish the job on time, I'm actually kind of happy this happened because it gives us the opportunity to make more money. Dude nearly died. He's lucky I didn't have a load on. If I had a load, I would have not been able to stop in time. That was crazy. But yeah, like I was saying, 
This does give us an opportunity to make some more money because now we can charge them for us keeping the trailer there for so long and we can charge them for picking up the crane. Now, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna charge them yet. I told them I gotta take a look at it, but I'm thinking it's gonna be at least $3,000, but we'll figure it out once we get there. We made it to the construction site and the crane should be, oh, there it goes, right there. Now, how are we gonna do this? I think we should just pull it straight onto the trailer. So I'm gonna drive up to it, disconnect the trailer, and then we should be able to just pull it right on up. But yeah, this thing is massive, guys. It has so many wheels, it's so crazy. All right, so let's line this up as close as we can get it. We gotta leave space for us to be able to get out. I think that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna get the trailer disconnected. So we got everything disconnected and here's the driver. But yeah, like I was saying guys, the problem with the heavy record, it wouldn't be able to reach, like with this big thing here, it can't reach all the way back under here, like down here to the frame to grab it. That was the problem and that's the reason why we gotta put this on a trailer. So yeah, this thing is definitely longer than the trailer, but I'm gonna try to work some magic. Let's see what we can do. So the problem is it only drives at like one miles per hour and yeah, it keeps, wait, why did it stop? Come on, come on. Yeah, it just keeps stopping. I hope we could get it up on the trailer. Okay, try to keep it lined up. Now I'm gonna have to, damn, this thing is so much bigger than the trailer. We're gonna have to kind of keep on going and that's why I wanted the last part of the trailer to help hold some of this weight because we're not really supposed to put stuff up on top like this, but you guys already know the model. If it fits, it ships. So we got to do what we got to do to make this money. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh my goodness. This thing is so big. I think that may be enough space though. I moved it forward because something was telling me that I'm going to need just a little bit more space. I think we're good now though. So, oh, oh, that was close. But as you guys can see, the first axle is not even on anything. Like it's literally just free hanging right there. It's kind of crazy. But the second axle is on the frame of the trailer. The third axle is also on the frame. And most of the other wheels on this side are also on. So here's the moment of truth. Will the neck fit? Let's find out. Oh, it, it fits. Wow. I know my truck guys, I know my equipment. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I gotta put down a lot of chains, a lot of binders, because we gotta make sure this thing does not go anywhere, especially since I'm hauling it in a sketchy way. So give me a couple minutes and I'm gonna get this thing ready to go. We're ready to go, but I wanna do one more thing and that is to drop this tag axle just so that we can support all of this weight that we are carrying. Perfect. It is now on the ground and we are ready to go. Let's hop in then. And let's get out of here. We have to pull a U-turn to head back towards town. And lucky for us, there is a dirt road that kind of wraps around. And I think we should be able to handle it. So I'm going to take the risk and try to go up here. This is an impressive load we're hauling right now. The truck is making it look easy though. Up the hill with no problem. Now we're gonna make this turn and head back down. Nice and easy. And let's we'll snake our way out of here. And just like that, we are back on the main road. That worked out perfectly. So let's head back towards the quarry and hopefully we can get this thing in there without a problem. Coming up on our first turn here, we're gonna have to take this wide so we don't take out anything. Now we wanna keep an eye on that stop sign, but it looks like we have plenty of space. Uh oh. We always end up in a police chase. Let's get away. Oh, they shoot it, they shoot it. Get him! Okay. The second deputy did his thing, but the first one is down, and now we're in the middle of a whole scene. 
So after being caught up with the police shooting, that kind of wasted some time. But we are getting paid by the hour, so I guess it's okay. But we made it back to the quarry. And now I gotta figure out how am I gonna make this left turn. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, actually. I think we'll be fine. Okay, we have plenty of space. And just like that, we are in. Now, there's one more right turn I kind of have to be careful with. Because remember earlier when we came in, we backed the trailer up. But this time, we can't back this trailer up. It, it's like impossible with all these different pieces on it. I could take it apart and just back up the main part. But I think I'm going to just try to drive it in as far as I can. And hopefully, I can make that right turn and... Basically, I just want to drive to where we left the other trail. I just want to drive straight until we get there. The problem is going to be this right turn, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, this is going to be a very hard ride, but, you know, I, I think it's going to work out. I think we're good. Because what we can do is kind of go off into the dirt a little bit here. And then we'll just swing it back around. Just like that. Perfect. If I remember correctly, we went this... Oh, actually, I can see the trailer a little bit. I don't have to remember. I can see it. It's right there. Perfect. We made it. So now, what I'm going to do is unload the crane. And then... We can unload the dump bed, and then I guess they'll work on doing that. They got to dump that and stuff. I'm not worried about that, though. I just want to get that thing off my trailer so that I can get out of here. It took them forever, but we finally got the bed unloaded, as you guys can see. And they could work on doing that whenever that's not my problem. But that crane was pretty cool, seeing it lift up and put out the legs and all that stuff. Anyway, you guys know me. If it fits, it ships. I had to put the trailer on top of the trailer and put the back on top of that. And then I put this over there because I need to take everything back to the shop and I'm by myself and I don't feel like calling a driver and I don't feel like going back and forth. I was like, you know what? We're going to put everything on one trailer, figure it out, and we're going to go ahead and get out of here now. As far as money, wait, I just realized the crane operator is still with me. You you, you need a ride somewhere? You want to go to the Yellow Jack? All right, I got you. I'll, I'll drop you off over there. Not a problem. So, yeah, as far as money, we made, what, I think we made, I forgot how much we made to bring up the original dump bed. I got to check my reports, but we made, uh, I ended up charging him $1,500 to tow the crane here. I know I said I was going to charge more, but I gave them a discount. I was like, $1,500. And then I charged them another $1,500. I should have charged them $2,000 for the trailer sitting here for so long. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to just charge them $1,500 for that, too. So we made $3,000 for the day on top of the money we made for hauling the dump bed, which was like another, I believe, four or five k It was pretty good. So all in all, we made $7,000 a day with this truck in a couple hours so that is awesome thank you so much for watching this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and let me know what i should do next but more importantly click right here to watch me repair a abandoned police station and turn it into the best police station that you guys have ever seen and in order to do that we had to use all of our trucking companies if you guys don't know we have a construction company a towing company and a trucking company so make sure you guys check out that video it was a lot of fun and i'll see you guys over there